Alright everyone, what is up YouTube? Faros here with another video on Diablo 3. You see right here on the screen, we've got select difficulty, hell mode, just like I said in the last Diablo video. Um, once I got level 50, which my wizard now is, we're going to be starting our hell playthrough. I'll be going through the entire game. Some parts may be sped up, some parts maybe not. Um, I'll just be showing you guys the whole game on hell difficulty. And we're going to start it with this first quest, so getting right into things. Warning, starting a new game, yes. Level 50 wizard, and it's go time. I might skip the cutscenes for sure, uh, just to show you guys all the gameplay. But yeah, we're going to be running right through things, hopefully. Um, hopefully it won't be too hard. At first, I'm going to be... Um, I'm, I'm getting some hardcore lag right now. Uh, Diablo does this when you first load up the game for the day. I probably should have done this before uh, I was recording. But yeah, I'm going to be using just some abilities that I find cool uh, to start and see how far I can go with them. Like, I really like this right click, uh, what's it called? Arcane Missiles? Arcane Torrent? I love Arcane Torrent. Uh, it blows stuff up if you got enough damage with it. So I'm actually going to wait until the lag clears out uh, just for a second. And um, we'll get things recording again, so I'll catch you in a minute. Alrighty, should be good now. About to start things off with our first quest, Hell Mode Level 50 Sorcerer. Let's do it up. Got our weapon damage up. We got some zombies already I need to be blowing up. They're going down easy mode. Oh, I'm, I need to change a uh, magic missile. Hmm. We'll try... Actually, yeah, I'm going to go back to split. I like split. Split's good because I can hit multiple things at once. Multiple things seem to be able to get, be, uh, get knocked back at once. So uh, I don't have my auto attack right now because it's cooling down because I just changed the runes. And I'm still getting a little bit of lag, but um, this should clear up. So I apologize for the lack of smooth frame rate in the video thus far. Uh, it's, it's just Diablo, you guys. It, it's like this. So um, we'll have to deal with it for just a little bit, but hopefully it'll clear out. And if not, I'll restart perhaps again. So this uh, game starts off. This village is getting attacked. Tristam is, and it's not really explained why you happen to be there, but um, you're there and you come in to save the day, help them clear out these zombies. Right off the biz at the game gets you into the action, which I actually really like. Uh, this is one of the reasons I think that uh, Diablo is so popular because anybody can pick it up and play it and have fun with it because, yeah, I mean, you're just thrown into killing zombies right off the bat and who doesn't love that, you know? Like, first quest, you've got, you know, waves of 10, 20 zombies coming at you, so I think people really enjoy that. And um, it, it, the game kind of keeps up that pace the whole time, you know? You're just, you're, as, you're sent from one task to another to another and uh, it's all very action oriented and it's all um, very fast paced so that's probably why it does so well I tried to escape out of that I don't, we don't want to listen to that you see me pick up a little book there that gives you some experience I always pick those up just a little boost you can find those throughout the game I think there's one actually in this back room as well um, they're not giving me too much experience oh well it didn't drop this time but I think uh, once you get them once you get the, uh, there's like two categories of books. There's one that you can get on every playthrough and one that you can only get once. And so uh, some of them don't drop multiple times, but yeah. You get what I mean. We're going back this way now, it looks like. I wish I had my other teleport set up so I could cover more ground. I might set that up in a sec. What can I do to help you fight? They're attacking the barricade! Taking out some zombies here. The game starts off pretty easy. Uh, even in this difficulty, it looks like, uh, you know, stuff is dying fairly easily. So, I'm not sure how much uh, this will keep up before it gets uh, more difficult in hell mode. If this turns out to be boring, just like normal in nightmare mode, I might just skip to some boss runs or um, skip to some other things. Or maybe, you know... Uh, just adjust the series to how we see fit like I could actually whoa I thought he was dead but I could um even like give you guys Diablo gameplay you know and just use it for like like update videos or vlogs or something like that or instead of you guys are just looking at like a relatively static frame of me and my webcam you know I could just do the 
sort of thing other commentators do where I give you guys gameplay and just talk over that when I want to update you guys on stuff. And I could do that with Diablo on the non-interesting parts, you know? And then commentate more over the gameplay on um, interesting parts. So we've got a lot of room to adjust here. But this for this first episode, I'm just going to, you know, sort of talk about the game, talk about what I'm doing. Uh, that unseen mother was spitting at me for pretty high damage. He made or she made me um, <laughs> use my ice armor and move around a little bit, so that's a good sign. I've never done hell mode before, so yeah, that's part of the reason I have you know no idea what I'm getting myself into here. Uh, it could be really easy, just like the other difficulties, or it could be you know pretty hard. We'll have to find out. Um, Sadly, I think this game is like completely based on gear. Uh, the difficulties themselves don't really mean squat. Uh, they're, they're just... I think they get scaled up in difficulty based on the gear you should have. But if you manage to sneak some, you know, decent deals off the auction house and you get yourself some really pro gear that, you know, you're not supposed to have <laughs> for your level, uh... I think the game becomes really face roll easy, no matter what difficulty you're on. I mean, case in point, you guys look in a theme. You know, one of my e-heroes uh, does amazing work on his channel and, you know, with charity and everything else he does uh, for the world. But he's he's really big in Diablo right now. We're going to go ahead and go in this dank cellar. Uh, Shouts to Mr. Zing, uh, YouTube.com slash Mr. Zing, by the way. I know I'm shouting out two channels at once here, but... um. Has, has runs on how to gear up. I don't know if it's been patched yet, but um, it involves this dank cellar. You can keep like zoning into this map, keep going in here, and um, if you get the dank cellar, you can run in and annihilate this boss, and he's got some decent chances to drop blues, and I think legendaries, so um, I just got one blue. But you see I got a lot of gems as well and a lot of gold, so uh, yeah, I'm not going to do the little reset thing right now. Perfect ruby, nice, and perfect amethyst. That's good stuff, but um, yeah, got got ourselves a blue there, so just a quick little thing. But yeah, it's good stuff. Shouts to Mr. Zinc for he's putting in work with the Diablo videos. Uh, he's doing a pretty good job on his channel. He's actually on vacation right now, but um, if you guys ever want to watch some other Diablo footage, I would definitely check out his channel. Link will be in the description below. But also a theme. What I was getting at was um. If you've got pro gear in this game, it doesn't matter what difficulty you're on, er anything's easy. Because, like, like he's dominating Inferno bosses, which is the highest difficulty. He's dominating them, you know, in, like, a matter of seconds, with his eyes closed, which is supposed to be the hardest things in the game. Uh, he's just face-rolling them, literally, because he's got the best gear in the game, so... Uh, the game's very, very gear-dependent, and, um... I might be a little bit ahead on my gear. I have been checking the auction house from time to time, you know, trying to get some good deals. Sometimes you find decent stuff up for just only like a couple thousand gold. So it's uh, definitely not that bad. What do we got here? Use the old room's waypoint. So D Diablo conveniently sets up waypoints where you can Thank teleport you. back to town. I'm going to skip these quests, dialogues, and conversations. But um, yeah, they've got those waypoints so you can teleport back and whatnot. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and check this stuff out to see if it's worth selling on the auction house. That's... Eh. Um, I don't know if that's very good. It doesn't seem that good. That doesn't seem that good. And that does not seem that good. So what I do, you guys, is um, there's a blacksmith over here. Where you can salvage equipment. And you, you can, like, take a blue equipment, for example. I'll do one right here. Hold on. I'm about to sneeze, though. Oh, jump cut, edit. All right, we're back. Anyway, <laughs> so um, you've got this blacksmith here where you can salvage equipment. And you can only salvage uh, equipment of blue quality or higher. So you click this little thing here, and then you can click as many things you want in your inventory. And... Uh, that actually doesn't seem horrible, but I'll just click, um, I'll just click this thing. So I salvage it, and you see I got one shimmering essence for it. And then once you train up your guy, which costs quite a bit of money, you can go into this forging place, and, um, like, look, I can make these level 42 boots, and they have plus two ran random magic properties. Plus two random magic properties. You know what this means? This means that if I hit craft, the stats on that boot 
those boots are completely random. They could be strength, they could be dexterity, they could be increased magic find, increased gold find, um, regenerate life. Any stat you can think of, uh, or it could be a slot, it could be anything, like a gem slot. You know, and you know, these legendaries, or uh, I'm sorry, I, I think yellows in this game are called rares. These rares um, have like plus five magic properties, but they're random. The entire blacksmith thus far in the game anyway is random every single pattern and each thing costs you materials and gold to craft like um these pants they cost 5.5k to craft you could have to craft you know five pairs of pants bust all your mats before you get a pair of gear with good stats on it it's i was doing it at first and at first i had much better luck with it but lately I've came to the conclusion that it's completely worthless, um, <laughs> right now anyway, because I'm just, I'm not having any luck, I'm wasting a lot of gold, so what I'm doing with my blues, you guys, is I'm just vendoring them for the 100 gold, 200 gold, 300 gold, and then if they're worth absolutely anything, like, if I think anybody has any chance of buying them, uh, I'll put them on the auction house. Not even for that much, you know, just for a little bit, like... 1k 2k 3k if they're really good sometimes 4 or 5k i just put them in my stash you know i've extended my stash a bit here and um i put them in here until i can put them on the auction house and i've been making decent money like that you know i've only got 131k right now but that's after already dump dumping you know hundreds of thousands of gold into this blacksmith so um i'm doing okay right now could definitely be better but i'm doing all right uh, but that's my little mini rant slash information on crafting in this game. I hear it's better when you can craft tier pieces, but um, for right now, I'm not wasting any more time with it. I'll train it up once I can get good stuff with it. Uh, but yeah, now back into the action. Um, I should probably be recording time to see how long I should make these episodes. By the way, post in the comments below how long you like you guys would like these episodes. Like a half hour, an hour, you know, or is that way too long and you'd rather have like 15 minute episodes? Um, I'll probably go until we just get to a decent stopping point. Uh, or something that like makes sense chronologically today. I, th I think there's gonna be, yeah, there's gonna be some boss in here. I'm definitely going to stay away from them. Take out the little guys first, because sometimes the little guys can complicate things, and it's way easier just to um, take them out first since they die so quickly. Oh, those little ice things definitely do some legitimate damage and freeze you, so um, definitely want to avoid those. She's fighting my images right now. I'm going to ice armor it up. I get trapped there. This was probably not the way to go back in this little narrow passage, but I had, um, I had diamond armor diamond skin sorry <laughs> I had diamond skin up to protect me so ended up working out okay there Ooh, and I get a awesome health potion for, out, of that, <laughs> out of that little fire <laughs> good stuff um, got some shit tastic gear here so that's all right we're going back to the cathedral I'm glad I'm picking up potions I'm actually really low Oh. Got some zombies right as we come out. Hopefully they don't, they don't break through my skin. Most of the time I don't use this arcane torrent ability. You guys seen I was using the orbs a lot. Because you're able to shoot shoot them and then stay mobile, you know? Keep moving afterwards. And arcane torrent you're forced to uh, sort of like plant yourself down like a turret and just blow stuff up. But I just think it looks cool, man. I just love the way it looks. And for these easy quests I may as well use it if I like it, you know? Because I might not be able to pull it off later on, so... We're sticking with it for now. Arcane Torrent. <laughs> Going through Old Tristram Road here. Yeah, so let me know uh, what I can do to try to spice this up for you guys. I think it is going to get interesting slash hard uh, probably very quickly. So, um, the first episode, like I said, might be a little boring, but... I'm sure things will spice themselves up on their own, really. <laughs> but, uh, if there's anything I can do to make the videos better, or, uh, you know, if you'd rather just see, like, bosses for this first part or something like that, just let me know. We'll do it up. I'm having fun doing this, though, you know? And if more videos is what you guys want, then this is definitely something I can do. Um, I'm gonna start talking about something else real soon here. Actually, I'm just going to start talking about it now, and if anything comes up in the gameplay, uh, I'll transition into that. This is, as always, a live commentary. You guys know I like my live comms. Uh, I think they're far more interesting than any other sort of commentary, so uh, that's what we do. 
going into this cathedral. I think I might stop this episode after the cathedral. I'm not sure where that wraps up, but we'll see. Uh, hopefully the frame rate of the video and everything's fine, by the way. It's a little laggy on my end, but um, ho hopefully, hopefully it's pretty decent. But anyway, I apologize, you guys. I was supposed to have my epic announcement out for you guys on Sunday, and I'm recording this on Monday. This will probably go up on Monday. Uh, you see I let down that little banner right there. I could have done that right off the bat. I should have. It would have done damage to the enemies that were sitting there, but I haven't memorized where all the things fall down yet, so um, sometimes I just bust things out on my own. But um, yeah, I was supposed to have you guys an epic announcement on Sunday, and I said it was going to be out on Sunday multiple times, and at the end of the day, wow, got some lag there, got exploded on. But um, at the end of the day, it was not out on Sunday, and I just have to apologize to you guys for that, for hyping that up and then not delivering. Um, I had recorded the announcement vlog with my buddy, my cousin's, you know, crazy good looking camera and it, it still didn't turn out really the way I wanted so I was gonna redo it and then some things have been coming up to where I didn't really feel comfortable announcing that in general because you know things could change before that announcement comes out and um, I'm just not a hundred percent foolproof on what I'm about to announce yet I was but like I said some things have been coming up and without telling you guys what it is because I don't want to get your guys hopes up or uh you know anything like that I'm just gonna drop it for now if it comes to the point to where I know for sure I'm gonna be going to what I was going to announce then I will <laughs> re-announce it and um, get it to you guys then and I know I'm beating around the bush a lot here but um, I just wanted to say for those of you who were expecting that I'm sorry I didn't get it out uh, when you guys wanted and um, don't think I've forgotten about it or anything it's just I'm gonna wait until it's it's better timing and wait until I know for sure I'm just blowing up groups of mobs right now with Arcane Torrent. <laughs> Loving it. These fat guys, when you kill them, they explode into all those little snakes. I'm going to start get my Arcane Torrent there right when they come out. Yeah, so they all blow up. This guy's not taking much damage. Look, <laughs> I blew him up and then the other half of his body came back at me. Um, sadly... Here's something interesting about Diablo. I feel like some of the maps are the same every time through, and then I feel like some of them have like random properties where they can be a little bit different, you know? So like, I'm not 100% for sure which way the way out of here is, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not sure if it's the same as the last two times I've done it, or if it, if the exit to this area could possibly be different, so. And knowing that, I, j I just have a hard time, like, re trying to remember, like, oh, which way did I go last time, you know? Because, I'm one, I'm not sure if it's even applicable. Oh, you see, I, I got that dragon with that chandelier there <laughs> when it fell down. Or, it's not a, they're not dragons, they're bats. They look like little dragons to me, but apparently they're bats. Whoa, I didn't see those guys on the other end of the door. Arcane Hydra, help me! Oh, he popped again. I, I always think I'm like out of range of that explosion when I'm not. On Inferno mode, that would probably kill me, but I think shit just does way more damage on Inferno mode. Well, yeah, that, that's that chandelier. See, that one didn't fall near any enemies. That almost fell on me. I don't know if they can actually hurt me or not. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure. Wow. Arcane Torrent, man. So sexy. So, let's see where we're at here. It could be down that way, or it could be up this way. I'm just gonna go this way. I don't know why I diamond skinned there, but you know, like, I was like, those bats, they're gonna be on me. <laughs> Kinda tired right now. Sorry if I sound a little groggy. I did just wake up early. You know, I've been having some really weird sleeping patterns, you guys. Uh, most of the time, I don't go asleep until like this time. You know, it's like 8 a.m. And sometimes, you know, at the end of the school year and stuff, I was trained to just be up all night and not not need sleep until the early, early hours of the morning and now it's completely opposite now that summer's hit. I, I have no idea why but um, I think there's a book up there. I don't know if I can get it since I've gotten it before. Okay, maybe I can. This might be some free EXP. Nope, free gold. I'm not even going to bother. There's a couple zombies in those two side rooms but they're not worth bothering with. 
But yeah, now that um now that summer's here and I've started these workouts again, these insanity workouts, um they have been killing me during the day, you guys, and they're six days a week. And like I do those and I by like 10 p.m., 11 p.m., I am just donezo, ready for sleep, needing sleep, and there's like no way I can stay awake. So I've been going to sleep really early and waking up really early at like 5, 6 p or 5, 6 a.m. And it's like, well, I don't know what's going on, but that's been my schedule lately. So, um, and a lot of the times, you know, since I'm, I don't have the late night to record and make videos, that's when I'm used to making videos. Um, I'm trying to transition into doing them early morning because, you know, around midday, uh, oh, it looks like I need to go down here. I probably go up and around through here. Huh? But um, through the midday, it's like it's really busy around my house. There's always people coming in and out uh, from my father's work and stuff like that. So it's busy. It's noisy around the house. And um, it's not really prime time, so to speak, for recording. So I'm going to start doing things early morning, but apologies if I do sound groggy. <laughs> I'll try to fix that if I do. You know, I'm always trying to stay hyped and stuff in the commentary, so it's interesting for you guys, but you know how that goes. Uh, it's, it's hard to do, you know, at 6 a.m., even, even if you did wake up naturally. Man, look at the Arcane Hydra just owning everything right now. He, I didn't know his little orbs exploded AoE, like he was doing really good versus that AoE pack. That was decent. I am sitting, uh, if you guys would like to benchmark your characters, maybe you have wizards as well with my progress. I don't know if this is actually good at all, but right now, um, with magic weapon up, I'm at 3,500 damage at level 50. So 35, 72. Um, I've got a lot of heavy int and damage gear. Both my rings give me plus 5 to 10 damage. Um, I thought my amulet did too, but it didn't. I have a pretty nice one hand, although I have a I have a even better level 51 um, one hand sitting in my stash for when I ding 51. And that thing, I got it off the auction house for like 2k, and it's it's fucking beast mode. Uh, my my one hand does what? It's like 150, 100, in between 150 and 170 damage, I think. 176, yeah. The one hand that I got off the the auction house for like 2k. It's popping like 230 DPS, which is so nasty, and it's so cheap too. Like those are the kind of deals you need to be looking for um, when you're maybe having some trouble in the game, or you just want to make it easier on yourself. You look for those really cheap uh, deals where you can get huge upgrades for just like a thousand or two gold. And then the auction house in this game, you guys, you can buy something off of it, equip it, use it for a week, and then when you're done with it, resell it. <coughs> Excuse me, nothing's uh, nothing's bind on pickup in this game, nothing's bind on equip even. I, I'm going to be reselling all this gear once I'm done with it. So uh, that's pretty sick. We saved Deckard Kane here. He was in here uh, trying to get some knowledge, got, <laughs> got swarmed by skellies, and uh, we saved the day. So let's see where we have to go now. Where are you taking us, Deckard? Back to, back to Tristam. We might wrap up this first episode here. Um... This is something I could give you guys daily episodes on. So, here's the deal. I'm going to go ahead and skip this cutscene. Um, and sell some things while I talk to you and pick up the next quest. Uh, let me know how you guys would like me to adjust this series. Again, um, I can... Hold on, let me check out this gear. See, Dexterity and Intellect, I feel like that's trash. No one's really going to want boots that only have dexterian, Dexterity and Intellect on it. Same with, like, Strength and Health Globes, Grant plus Life. Like, that's a pretty random stat. I think you want, like, a main stat plus Vitality, and then, like, maybe plus some Magic Find people would want, or maybe plus, um... What's another thing people would like? Uh, I don't know, like, regen life per second seems okay. Um, yeah, like, crit chance increased or crit damage increased by, people probably like stuff like that. Uh, plus XP, people might even like that in the leveling stages. Increased gold pickup, eh, I don't really think that's worth much. Uh, but yeah, like, so like, maybe like a main stat or two plus crit and you'd be having like a pretty badass item people want to buy, or a main stat plus vitality, plus, um, you know, like, damage, yeah, that's, that's amazing, or attack speed, or, uh, monster EXP, or any of the things I mentioned that I said were good, those are things that I would keep to sell on the auction house, but, like, these things I've got right here, like, this one I might sell, 
But then again, like, look at how much... Here's the thing about Diablo 2 that I haven't said yet. Or <laughs> about Diablo also that I haven't said yet. This is not Diablo 2, this is Diablo 3. <laughs> but, um, like, okay, look at the necklace I'm mousing over right now. Plus 68 intelligence. Level 48. Look at the one I have equipped. Level 48. Plus 131 intelligence. Plus 82 vitality. These necklaces are the same exact level. But the one I have equipped completely eclipses the one that I'm mousing over right now. Same level, same quality item. One is literally three times as good, four times as good as the other one. Don't ask me why itemization works like that in Diablo. I have no idea. But when you're thinking about selling things on the auction house or whether you just want to vendor something, uh, you need to think about like, are these really appropriate stats for this level? Is this, is this good? Is this bad? And like, check it with your own gear. Because like this necklace, on the face of things, you'd be like, wow, that's a lot of intellect. Maybe somebody going for like some sort of glass cannon build would really like that. And then you look at the necklace I have and you're like, wow, 68 intelligence, that's ass compared to what you could have. So I'm just going to go ahead and vendor these blues, get some extra gold. And um, yeah, probably wrap up this video here. I'm going to keep playing for today. I'm going to keep recording. Uh, again, let me know in the comments below if there's anything you guys would like me to change about this series. Uh, anything you would like me to switch it up, you know, based on length, based on quality of the videos, based on how much I'm showing you guys. I was planning on doing like a legitimate let's play where I'm showing you guys everything uh, throughout the entire hell mode. But if you're not really interested in that, or if you think it would take too long, or anything, leave your opinions in the comments below, and I'll adjust it based on you guys, what you guys want. But I'm going to go ahead and keep playing for now, and I'll catch you guys next video. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you really liked it, give it a favorite. And until next time, you guys, take care. Peace out.